have this crazy, crazy looking worm. You guys, take a look at this chameleon. Is that not the friendliest chameleon? Oh, oh, it's squirting on my face. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another banging Lonnie's Lizards video. Now, I'm gonna be behind the camera the first part of this video, but of course I got my cameraman Jacob with me. And uh, today we got the OCD Obsessive Chameleon Disorder shirt on. I'm walking into a Wild Cargo Pets and Supplies. We're gonna see what they got going on in here, but I have an epic video for you guys. We're gonna be feeding one of our chameleons a crazy, crazy blue worm. All right, so we've just walked inside of the store. We're walking into my favorite part of the store right now. This is the reptile room. So you guys can see it's just reptiles on reptiles on reptiles and if you guys need anything make sure you guys come and check them out they're in west palm beach they've got some great supplies and absolutely awesome awesome little creatures in here thing is absolutely massive the glare is so bad i'm sorry if you guys can't really see all that well but i mean this snake has got to be what dude what dude nine feet thicker than my thighs <laughs> bigger than my thighs yeah we've got a nice little anaconda right here some crazy snakes here's an albino burmese python so we actually have these invasive down here in south florida pretty crazy to think about but i mean you guys just take a little look Check out these awesome, awesome bioactive enclosures. Absolutely thriving with life in there. That guy is absolutely chilling up on top. I mean, look at this one. Looks like a little mini jungle. This one is awesome looking for sure. All right, you guys, so we kind of got a little off track with that pole. You guys are gonna have to wait till the next video to find out what we just bought in here. But anyways, I'm just gonna show you guys the whole fish section in here. With this, with this lighting, I, I can't really complain. The last time you guys saw me, I had a mop on my head. So, you know, looking nice and clean. Yeah, <laughs> anyways, forget about that. Let's look at these awesome African cichlids right here. Look at the colors on that thing, dude. Electric blue, electric blue. These are so cool when they're older. I'm so cool. Great shot. Here's some Salvini cichlids. Oh, look at these guys. Dude, those are sick. So cool back here. And then if you guys want to walk over here, we got some of the bigger cichlids. Look at these. So that is like that same, that is like that same little electric blue cichlid you saw back there. Almost full grown though. That is absolutely just such a beautiful fish. What else we got? Oh, dude, Jacob. Oh. Jacob. Look at how gnarly that pleco is, dude. Oh, oh he's gonna hide. Oh no, come back in the light. He's gonna hide. Look at this little iridescent shark. Look at those things. I oh. think this is an iridescent shark, if I'm not mistaken. Dude, that thing is so gnarly. Oh my god, you guys want to see a color pop? Come and take a look at this tank right here. <laughs> now that is just so many different colors in one little picture. These are all African cichlids. So, so crazy. I mean, imagine going to Africa and seeing all these in a lake, dude. Insane, bro. Look at this guy. Is this an armored? Come here. Is this an armored? Yep. Also known as the pleco. Pleco. Catfish. catfish. Sorry Look guys, I'm uh, uneducated. Dude. These are just straight These are my dogs. favorites. These are just straight dogs. The water dogs. Yeah. <laughs> these are my favorites. So, so cool. Oh, look at the little ones down here. Oh, look at this guy. Giving us a... Yeah, what's good? Giving us a smile for the camera. He is uh, hitting you guys with a like and subscribe. Make sure you guys do that for me, please. Because, I mean, honestly, you guys, I cannot control myself when I come to the pet store. I'm always leaving with something. You guys are just going to have to wait until the next video to see what we actually left with. It is going to be crazy. So adorable, but big. Just wait. Just wait on it. Just wait on it. Look at him weighing him right now. <laughs> no, don't get that because we're not putting that in this video at all. All right, so I don't know if you guys are uh, hungry at all, but <laughs> you can't go wrong with some jumbos. This looks absolutely scrumptiously. Mm. 
So to get what we actually came for, these weird neon, they almost look like sour gummy worms. Maybe that's why my chameleons like them. What if they are sour? What if they taste like candy? You never know. <laughs> so follow me. We're gonna go over here. Look okay, at my buddy taking care of me. Uh, absolutely. Smash that bell just like you guys got to smash that bell for those notifications. Please go and do that. So I'm just gonna look at some of these hornworms if you got any in there. Yeah. So these things, like I said, are just totally wicked looking. They look almost like sour gummy worms. And you can just hand me one just so I could show them really quick. This one is small, but they get absolutely massive. I mean, when I say massive, probably four times, five times the size of this worm. That thing is freaky looking. Freaky looking. All right, so we are actually checking out right now. Our total came to about seven, eight dollars, and I promise you these three horn worms were not seven, eight dollars. Our next video is based off of what is inside of this box. Now, if you guys are really wanting to see what's inside of that box, make sure you guys stick around. And before I head out of the store, make sure you guys go and check out Wild Cargo Pets and Supplies. I know that I said that a little bit earlier, but I mean, such a phenomenal store. Crazy fish, crazy reptiles. I mean, you guys already saw the size of that snake in there. Where else are you gonna go and find something like that? Make sure you guys come and check them out in West Palm. And I'll see you guys when we get home. We have this crazy, crazy looking worm right here. Now, so these almost look like sour gummy worms. I mean, nah, I'm just kidding you guys, but let's feed one of these to one of my biggest chameleons we have. And I think that's gonna be Kakashi. This is not even a full grown one. These things get like this big. Unfortunately, we couldn't get our hands on any of the big ones, but you guys just take a look at those colors. These are called hornworms. And these end up turning into hawk moths when they uh, pupate. But I mean, take a look at that. They mimic little eyeballs going down the whole side of them. That's just to uh, scare off any predators and whatnot. But I mean, I can tell you that my chameleons are not phased by those. So let's open up one of these awesome cages. I know you guys have seen <clears throat> my seven foot custom mansions right here. Let's see if Kakashi is feeling like he's going to want to eat today. He always wants to eat today. Where is he at? Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, that's such a good boy. You guys take a look at this chameleon. Is that not the friendliest chameleon you've ever seen? Yes. He is so awesome. Look at those colors. He's licking his chops right now. He is ready to rumble. So we're gonna have him up here right on my hand. You guys, he is just freaking beautiful. He is a little bit on the darker side. One, because it's been a little chilly and two, a lot of the times these panther chameleons, they end up actually going through kind of like a brumation. It's almost like a hibernation. So once the colder months come, they kind of get a little bit dull. I'll actually show you an example. You guys have seen my boy Goku. He is looking a little dull right now. But wow, he just took a nice little lick. So here we got this big old hornworm. And Kakashi, I think, is really, really ready to go. Oh my goodness. Now he's gonna, oh, 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 he's squirting on my face. Oh. <laughs> dude, Kakashi, that was gnarly, that. dude. He did. Yeah. Sour gummy worms. Most definitely. <laughs> Didn't need to do me like that, bro. Oh, he wanted oh. something later. <laughs> he actually squirted it all over my face. <laughs> okay, so. We're not gonna give Kakashi the whole roll of this video. Let's go give this other little hornworm to somebody else. So we're gonna put him right back up in, right back up inside of his absolute mansion. More like a mini jungle. He's uh, definitely enjoying that hornworm. And I'm not really. I'm sure you guys can remember if you guys go back a little bit. You guys can see how bright he really was. But now he's kind of just looking like powdery yellow. He's just hanging in there, he's just chilling. This, uh, these last couple of days have been super cold. I mean, the coldest it's been in Florida in 30 years. It was 37 degrees the other night. I had to bring all of them inside. It was just so hectic, everybody. But let's see if Goku wants to grab the little hornworm. You see why they get their name, the hornworm, right? See that little red horn? Thing is deadly. And it's actually not deadly. <laughs> it's actually just soft. But these things, like I said, they get huge and fat. So let's see if we can lure him out. Come on. Come on, Goku. Oh, he's gonna come. He's definitely gonna come. Come on. Come on. Let's let's see how long we can get his tongue to shoot. 
Look, Look at, at him though. He's bro. actually gorgeous when he's got like that. Look at it's those like yellows popping. He's like a pastel. He is. So he's coming gorgeous. out. Smoked <laughs> it, dude. Absolutely smoked it. That's a good boy, Goku. He's got crazy colors going on. Although he's not at his full, full potential right now because of the colder, the colder months. But let's get him inside. So I don't know if you guys do, but chameleons actually have prehensile tails like monkeys. So he can just chill here, hang out all day. Let's get him right back up inside of his cage. I'm just going to show you guys some of the boys, you know. I'm, I haven't really updated you guys in a while. So let me show you guys Spyro. I mean, of course, if you guys have been uh, following my channel for a little bit, you guys would know. This is one of my first videos, the world's most purple chameleon. So let's get him out and take a look at him. I know previously to bring out the gnarly, gnarly little pests, we got some crickets right here. I can't really see them. There you go. So you guys, this is just a temporary cricket bin I, that I've been using. And look, let me just show you guys. These are not dead crickets right here. These are just cricket skins. Crickets actually shed their skin as they grow. So before you guys come in here saying, oh my God, he's got a bunch of uh, dead crickets. No, that's, that's not the case, everybody, I promise. But let's see if we can get Spyro to grab one of these little banded crickets. I mean, look at how gross that thing is. Yeah, no. Not a fan, not a fan. But anyways, like I was saying, you guys, Spyro, he's been uh, he's been on the, the darker side, like I was explaining with these colder months coming through. Come on, little guy. That prehensile tail is really working wonders in there. But take a look at him. I mean, he's still so, so beautiful. Although he's going through a little bit of a winter funk. Let's see if he'll grab this cricket right out of my hand. And I don't know if he's enjoying the look of the cricket. Oh, oh, boom. Oh, he got oh. my finger. <laughs> and look, you guys, chameleon's tongues are actually really, really sticky. It's not a myth. Look at him, he's just going to sit there with the cricket right up in his mouth. Just hanging out. But like, like I was saying, you guys, he is on the, on the darker side. They're just trying to um, get as dark as they can so they can absorb as much heat as possible. Like I said, I did bring them out here last night. And the temperatures dropped to about 57. Most of the time, cooler, cooler drops at night are okay for these. That's what actually happens in the wild in Madagascar so this guy right here like I was saying his name should be Raptor because he wants absolutely nothing to do with me well he's actually being pretty nice today huh you're not firing up at me or whatever yeah, this guy's usually not a fan of I you mean, look at that so when they're chilling and you know they're just sitting still you could see where his leg was chilling you see that yellow right there not a fan but I mean dude he is just absolutely Awesome. So this is a nosy Mitsio panther chameleon. As you can see, these bars right here, like this red bar, as you can see up here, it's starting to scatter away. It's starting to fade away a little bit. He's going to be completely yellow, like a highlighter. I mean, can you guys just imagine when he looks like that? On this side, you can see it's really faded a lot more. Can't wait for that day to come when he is just lit up, completely yellow like a banana, highlighter, whatever you guys want to call it. Just know he's gonna be absolutely just yellow, just straight yellow. And you can see his red eye turrets. He's got the little black stripes going through him. Just such crazy detail with these animals. He's like the absolutely. guy on your shirt. Yeah. OCD, obsessive chameleon disorder. What can I say, you guys? If this isn't facts, I don't know what is. So let's get him right back up in here. He's just chilling. Like I said, everything is very unorganized right now here at Lonnie's Lizards. We are. Just still dealing with a little bit of the cold temperatures. Trying to get everybody back and forth, inside, outside. You know, of course, I don't want nothing to happen to any of my chameleons. But yeah, you guys. I totally hope you guys enjoyed this video. Lonnie's Lizards is out of here. Make sure you guys stick around and wait until next week's video. It is going to be a banger. I'm going to put a little bit of a clip inside of this video. And it's just going to give you guys a little sneak peek at what next video is. Let me just say... It's a very big surprise. And when I mean big, I mean like 10 pounds big. But anyways, Lonnie's Lizards is out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.